Namaste. Um, this video is for Casey. Oh, uh, no. This video is for AKM. But I think it's okay if I say your name, Andrea. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Namaste. I'm sorry that uh, I, I don't want to start my video out with saying I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, you'll have the video in the morning. Okay, so I want to start with, because you were saying that you were experiencing a lot of throat chakra, thyroid issues. So I have music on that is very good for the thyroid. Okay, I don't know if you could hear it or not, but because um, I'm using this microphone. So let me start. I'm using my old phone so that I can have this little thing. But I'm just going to start um, in your, you bought the healing artwork Tilly. Um, and in your package, when I do mail it after you move in, um, I will put in a whole bunch of things about the thyroid. But I just want to read something to you about the thyroid from my favorite Louise Hay. And this could be helpful for other people too. Oh. Don't go over there. Okay. One second. So according to Louise Hay, who she's my guru of why I started using color therapy and started doing color therapy. Um, let me just move you back because you can't see the smoke. Okay, anyhow, um, she feels that anything to do with a body part has a metaphysical reason that it is off. So there's affirmations, but first we have to figure out you know, what the issue is. So anything to do with the throat is the throat is the avenue of expression is the channel of creativity. And, um, anything to do with the throat, like sore throat, or maybe even, um, thyroid issue or thyroid bump is the inability to speak up for oneself swallowed anger swallowed anger stifled creativity refusal to change and the two affirmations that i have just for the throat in general um is i open my heart and sing the joys of love i open my heart and sing the joy joys of love i open my heart and sing the joys of love. It's okay to make noise. I express myself freely and joyously. I speak up for myself with ease. I express my creativity. I am willing to change. It's okay to make noise. I express myself freely and joyously. I speak up for myself with ease. I express my creativity. I'm willing to change. And then specifically for the thymus and thyroid, the thymus is the master gland of the immune system. Feeling attacked by life. They are out to get me. So sometimes when you have issues with the thyroid, it could be like you feel like everything is coming at once at you. And you're like, oh my God, um... You know, why is everybody attacking me and I don't have a voice? I can't speak up. Um, 
It could be. Um, so anyhow, they are out to get me or feeling attacked by life. And the affirmation that you're supposed to say is, my loving thoughts keep my immune system strong. I am safe inside and out. I hear myself with love. My loving thoughts keep my immune system strong. I am safe inside and out. I hear myself with love. I move beyond all limitations and now allow myself to express freely and creatively. I move beyond all limitations and now allow myself to express freely and creatively. So anything with the thyroid, which I definitely know about because uh, I did all research. And when I was going through thyroid problems, I didn't even know I had thyroid issue. Um, I would lose a lot of weight uh, without, you know, adjusting my diet or drinking. Um, I would gain a lot of weight without adjusting my diet or drinking. Um, and it, And I was freezing. I was hot. I was freezing, my skin was dry, I lost hair all the time, I still do, and I'm on 150 milligrams of levothyroxine, 150, okay, it's a lot because I have Hajimoto's, but um, the thyroid is a very precarious um, organ, it's a, ve it's a very hard organ to fix, um, so yeah, when they, I had all the tests done, both when I lived in Staten Island, New York, 2012, 2013, 2014, like that, I would have it checked every six months and every year. But then when I moved here, I couldn't get an endro, endro, endocrinologist. That's hard to say. Okay. Um, and I had to wait a long time. I had to I was on a waiting list. And in this little small town, we only have a sp one. We only have one. And I was on a waiting list. And I don't like him. So I don't go back to him. Um, and, you know, I try to heal myself as much as I can naturally. And with these affirmations and with painting, like I was saying before, when I started to get a thyroid problem, I didn't know... To it was a thyroid problem, but I started painting everything blue. I started painting dark blue, light blue, gray blue, slate blue. Um, and that was way before I knew that I had any kind of thyroid issue. And I used to have trouble speaking up for myself and expressing myself, even though I am a very creative person. When I was going through a lot of trouble in my job, or when I was going through, through a lot of trouble in my marriage, um, I had trouble speaking up for myself. And so therefore, ergo, I had um, issues with my thyroid. And actually, I was getting a massage in this mystical place in Staten Island I used to always go to. And she was doing reflexology on my toes, on my feet. And all of a sudden, she started rubbing the neck of my big toe and every time she did I would kind of like jumped and she said do you have any issues with your thyroid and this was way before like I didn't even understand what a thyroid was that's how dumb I was but I this was like 2010 and I didn't get diagnosed till 2012 um so what happens is when you have a thyroid problem it starts when you're a kid um, you could be very, very, very thin, um, or a little bit heavy. Um, as a kid, I was always skinny. I was always little and petite and underweight. And that's why, you know, I, I find it a horror show, like, you know, that I'm, I'm so big and I exercise and I try to eat, you know, fruits and vegetables. Of course I don't eat a hundred percent, right? But um, I'm very active for, you know, a 61-year-old dude, almost 61. But anyhow, the thyroid is just a precarious organ. 
So I find the affirmations really help me. And wearing the color blue, eating blueberries, eating blue foods, drinking, you know, um, anything that ha- it has to do with blue. Um, but I'll put that in your package. But I just wanted to finish with the um, affirmation. Okay, so sometimes when we have thyroid or goiter or hypothyroidism or hypothyroidism um, is humiliation. I never get to do what I want to do because I have to take care of everything else. Um, When is it going to be my turn? And I used to have those feelings. When is it going to be my turn to be creative? When is it going to be my turn to relax? When is it going to be my turn not to have to handle everything? Um, And the affirmation for that is I move beyond old limitations and now allow myself to express freely and creatively. I move beyond old limitations and now allow myself to express freely and creatively. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. Um, Okay. And I just have one more. And uh, of course, I'll put this all in the packet. Sorry, um, okay. can't even see my um, smoke. Okay, so anything to do with the goiter um, is hatred for being inflicted upon, victim, feel or feeling like a victim, um, but then not being able to even express that you feel like a victim, feeling thwarted, thwarted in life unfulfilled and the affirmation for healing is I am the power and authority in my own life I am the power and authority in my life I am the power and authority in my life I am free to be me I am free to be me I am free to be me okay I always suggest everybody get a copy of Louise Hay's book, um, Heal Your Body. Okay. So. Jason Stevenson, Throat Chakra Healing. Jason Stevenson, Throat Chakra Healing. Hey, it's Lisa Bevere. This is your invitation to a free, powerful, three-day online event.
Sorry, I couldn't find my right music. It kept going into guided meditation. I don't want guided meditation. Okay, so let me start with your... First, I'm just going to um, say a couple of things before I do the cards. Because when I was meditating... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a throat chakra thing too. Um, when I was doing meditating about you um, today and um, different people around you, um, well, first of all, numerology-wise, of course, you're in Aries, you know that. Um, your numbers, like you're born on the 28th, and you add the 8 and the 2 together, and that's a 10. So 10s will be important to you, which equals a 1, which like starting over or being in your own business. Um, and then... I added all your numbers up. Your destiny number is five, and five is changes. So even though you don't like doing a lot of changes right now, moving, um, you are, your destiny is five. So you are a mover and a changer. Um, like it'll be familiar to you, even though it's a hassle, like to, to the boxes and moving and the driving and the hassle of it all. Um, you are a champion at it um, because of the destiny number five, which is always like have a suitcase packed, be ready, re be ready to move. <coughs> yeah, I don't think this smoke is the right one for me, but anyhow. So, okay, so numbers that will be important are 10 and 5, destiny number of 5 and 10. But then when I added up your numbers for this year, 2024 has not been easy, but it has been the year it equals 21, so that 2 and the 1 equal 3, so that is the year of Trinity, and the triangle of connecting your body, mind, and spirit. So yeah, the thyroid thing comes up. Um, situations in your relationships come up. And moving comes up. And it's all a part of your journey. So don't worry because it's all supposed to be happening. And you might say, but, you know, this is a hassle. This is terrible. No, God is trying to get you and your guides and your angels are trying to get you to a different part, to a different point. Okay. And when you get there, when you're settled in after even like three weeks, because three is important, the year of Trinity, um, we're almost done with 2024 too. Um, and then you'll be going into a four year, which is a little bit more stable. But um, being in a three year, the year of Trinity is really important because connecting your mind and your body and your spirit is really important. Um, bringing in what it is that you love to do and making that time to do it. Giving yourself permission, Andrea giving yourself permission to do the things that you've always wanted to do, even just as a hobby. Um, and it's really important. And you're going to need the help of your, of your guides. You're going to need the help of God. And God is always available for you. Um, and your spirit guides are always available as well. Um, it's time to release rigid expectations. Rigid expectations is not a diss. It's just that um, we you have them for yourself and you have them for others. Kind of going with the flow is better. And that's hard to do because you're Aries and you're like action and worker, hard worker and trying to solve the problem with the wands that you carry. Um, but just take a step back and say, you know what? I'm not in control of this right now. I'm going to let God take the wheel. I'm going to let Jesus take the wheel. 
I'm going to ask my guides and I'm going to ask God, please help me with this situation or this problem. Help me to know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Help me to feel a sign of which way to go. Okay. You are not alone. Um, but everything that's happening is supposed to be happening. So in case you were wondering about that, <clears throat> sorry about clearing my throat a lot. Um, Yeah, so what else in the three year? I feel like something in, even in August, like I know we're in August and we're getting close to the end of August, but you're going to find out some information. Um, and at first you're going to be like, I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm betrayed. Um, but then there's a twist on it. Like I even see like, I see like, Somebody, one of your guides in heaven is saying, like, don't react. You know, you can express yourself, always express yourself. But I know you're going to be mad at first, but sit with it. Don't like make any rash decisions. Yeah, no rash decisions. That's what he's telling me. Okay. So I only have the first name. And that's okay, because I went on his date of birth. Um, so Aaron, who's in heaven, who's your ex-husband? Okay. He's talking a little bit to me. He's a Taurus. Um, let me just try to tap him. One second. Guides and spirit guides. Could you please help me to help uh, Andrea? And can I please connect with Aaron or any of the spirit guides that are for Andrea Kim? Thank you. He just told me to light the Palo Santo because he said, you know, you want to light it because <laughs> I have um, a stick of frankincense burning, but I need the Palo Santo. Um, first of all, like I feel he he's he wanted to tell you even this afternoon when I was tapping into Aaron's energy, he's like, please don't ever feel that it it had anything to like that you could have done anything to prevent my death. You couldn't have. Okay. He goes, it was my stupid mistake. Two seconds after it happened. And I think he tried to do it one other time. Um, and it didn't work. And, but he said two seconds, you know, after he did it, he realized I shouldn't have done that. Because he could see how it affected you. Because he was floating above his body. Um, and he saw how it affected. You have kids together. And his family, his other family, like, you know, uh, family members. Um, but he said, like, you couldn't have prevented it. It was just something I was going through, and I got very low. It has nothing to do with our marriage. It has nothing to do with our friendship. Um, and he's like, thank you for being my friend. I know that song comes to mind. Um, but he's like, thank you for being everything to me, my friend, my lover, my uh, significant other, my spouse. Um, he goes... 
you know, I messed it up, but I think every, co- <clears throat> sorry, my throat, every conversation we had, I might be getting this throat problem because of you. Sometimes I pick up on the, th- the things that people are having trouble with, um, but it's okay. It's going to be okay. I don't feel anything bad. You, you have to do the affirmations. You have to, um, focus on blue energy on your throat, um, sit with crayons and just color or paint, um, whatever you could do, something blue, have blue around you in your atmosphere, wear the color blue. Um, but yeah, Aaron, he just, what he goes, I want to make that straight with her. I want to make that clear. I don't want her dropping tears at night, um, or during the day. Um, and he kind it's weird because he has, um, thank you for that, Aaron. I appreciate all of the things that you were trying to get to me today. And I was being a procrastinator because I was, it's, it's like, um, it's almost four in the morning and I just can't seem to, I have a reading to do and I, I get things prepared, like I get the cards out and stuff, and then I write notes, and I'm in my head, I'm tapping in, but I don't get a chance to, who's bipolar? I just heard bipolar. Is this somebody bipolar? Okay, so, (laughs) I don't know if it's my spirit guides or Aaron saying, stop saying sorry for everything. It happens when it happens. Okay. Thank you for that. I am a bad procrastinator though, but it's okay. It's fine to sometimes just sit on the couch and relax. I was watching a Sinead O'Connor movie about Sinead O'Connor and there was a lot of things I didn't know. I love her music. Anyway, Aaron has weird advice Um, he's like, and this was this afternoon that I heard this, um, he's like, please, Thomas Hank, Hank Thomas, he was happy that you got married, remarried, um, he goes, he's a young guy, so young guys have young problems, and he said, Please keep keep giving him another chance. Could you please do that for me? Could you give him another chance? Because he's trying to work stuff out and he does love you. He goes, and I would not tell you, Andrea. He goes, I would not tell you to stay with somebody that I didn't think was right for you. I wouldn't tell you to give somebody another chance if I thought they were not... A, good in their heart. Okay. Yeah, so I mean I have I have notes on Hank Thomas. Thomas Hank, Tommy. Um but that this was specific That was a specific message from Aaron in reference to your, to your relationship with, with Tommy. Yeah, Aaron's like, nobody is perfect. And he's looking at something that happened to Tommy. He's not really showing me everything, like they can't show me every picture because I would never sleep <laughs> um, and it's already four uh, but he showed me something traumatic that happened to him and he says kind of what I said this afternoon like um, I, and I'm in no way am I telling you to make a decision one way or another but I'm just saying please keep the communication open with Tommy because he definitely needs you. He definitely loves you. I felt that love. Um, 
And there's something immature. There's something immature about him, but that's not his fault because he's younger than you. But that's, it's not his fault. It's men mature later than women. And um, somebody is saying, I'll follow you anywhere. I'll follow you anywhere. Does somebody call you AK with some kind of nickname like that, AK? Um, like if you said, I'm going to go live on the moon so you can't come with me. And he would say, well, if you let me, I'll get a ladder that is big enough to get to the moon. Um, yeah, Aaron is putting a thumbs up. And he's like, I'm not in any pain. Please know that you guys are in more pain than me up here. And he goes, you know, I sat with Jesus and he showed me all the things that I did right and a, a lot of the things I did wrong, but he showed me in a way not that I felt terrible about myself, but he showed me in a way that made me cry. And Jesus caught, oh, that's nice. One second. And he said, Jesus caught every tear. And every tear that Aaron cried, he was healed. And he's like, he's like, you thought I was good looking on earth. You should see me up here. Oh my gosh. He, sa um, he says, in heaven, there's no mental illness. In heaven, there are no addictions. In heaven, if you are really sorry for your sins, you could be forgiven. And he just showed me that peace that he had.